Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Tandem Talk Show. I'm your host, Coach G, and I'm the owner of Tandem Nutrition. I'm super excited to announce that this is our official first episode of the Tandem Talk Show. If you're new here, welcome. We're super excited to have you. The Tandem Talk Show is a live broadcast in which we go live every Tuesday at 7.30 Eastern Time, to provide women around the world the latest and most effective strategies on how to lose fat, tone up in a very healthy, sustainable, and enjoyable way. I'm super excited about this episode. If you're new here, please comment below. Let me know that you're joining us. And as I mentioned, each week we're going live in our private Facebook group. If you're not yet a member in our private Facebook group, it's called the Tandem Tone Up Community. You can join us anytime at facebook.com slash groups slash tandem tone up. We'd love to have you. So this episode today is a very exciting one. Uh, what I want to cover today are the three effective female fat loss strategies that the diet industry won't tell you. So this is one of the things I'm very passionate about. Um, as a team, um, we love to focus on education and science and helping our clients and women around the world lose fat in a way, in a way that's sustainable, that's based off whole foods, in a way that does not pose any diet gimmicks or tricks so that the results you achieve are lifelong and lasting. So before we get into today's episode, I do want to go over a few of our biggest client wins that we've had recently in our group and with our VIP team. So first off, I'm going to cover a few of, of Coach Layla's wins in the, in the recent past month. So she had a few big wins on the team. Uh, Julia Ashbaugh, she is down 39.6 pounds and almost 30 inches in just 32 weeks. That is super awesome. And currently, Julia is in a metabolic reset phase. And if you're not sure yet what a metabolic reset phase is, hey, that's okay. Because in these episodes, in the podcast, that's exactly what, what we're going to dive into to give you more information to help take your dieting and your physique to the next level to help you not have to die forever. So definitely decided to dig in more of that with you guys pretty soon. Also, Alina Moon is down 6.4 pounds in just three weeks. April Temple, another one of Coach Layla's clients, she's down 11 pounds and almost eight inches in just four and a half weeks. For those of you who may not know who Coach Layla is, uh, she is our registered dietitian on the team, and she'll be on probably the third episode here at the TNM Talk Show, so I'm really excited for you to meet her. <clears throat> Next, we'll have a really another exciting success story from Coach Boston, Nihel Sabra. She's, I believe, in California. And what's really interesting with uh, Nihal's story is that she started out actually in a metabolic reset phase. So she came to us and she was dieting at a very low calorie level. She was stuck. She was eating less than 100 grams of carbs a day. And she was you know, really grinding her calories out, eating very few of calories, and she just wasn't making progress. So we just had to take some time up and transition her throughout that metabolic reset phase. Coach Boston did a great job. Um, I spoke with her today, and she's eating over 1,800 calories per day. Um, she was eating 80 grams of carbs per day. Now she's eating over 130 grams of carbs, losing body fat, losing body weight, and feeling better and more energized, not to mention stronger than ever. So uh, great job, Nihel. We're definitely really proud of you, and great job, Coach, Bo Coach Boston, as well. Teresa Van Wyk is also another one of Coach Boston's clients. Guys, check it out. She's down a total of 32 pounds in 24 weeks, and she's not stopping until she hits her goal of losing 60 pounds. So that is super exciting as well. Lastly, for Coach Boston, Katie Wynn. Uh, so Katie Wynn is one of our world travelers. Uh, she's part of our Tone Up VIP program as well. And she's down 10 pounds for her world traveling events. And uh, she's just crushing it. Um, last few here, uh, Jamie Vardado, she's absolutely crushing as well. She's one of Coach Ashley's clients, and she's down 18 pounds in just eight weeks, so making some amazing progress. So those are just a few of the biggest wins that we have in our Tone Up VIP team. Uh, again, if you want to know more about our community, please join us at the Tandem Tone Up community. A quick Facebook search can definitely get you there. But I want to go straight into today's episode. I'm very passionate and excited to go over uh, today's episode. As I mentioned, we're going to cover the three effective female fat loss strategies that the diet industry will not tell you. And so so again, we're very passionate about helping our clients, helping our community, and helping you lose fat in a way that's sustainable, that is 
a way that's enjoyable, and a way that the results you get can last for life. So if you're currently following a, a diet or whether it's a, a calorie deficit, intermittent fasting, you know, keto, I, I'd love for you to comment below. Let me know, uh, those watching right now, let me know what you're currently following. Love to hear um, you know, what you've been having success with. So these are three things that I've learned throughout my decade of coaching women. And as a team, for the past decade, we've helped over uh, hundreds of women lose fat, tone up, and achieve their goals in a very healthy and sustainable way. And so that, that is why we've actually named our, our fat loss programs the Tandem Tone Up Programs. And we have several versions of those. But so one of the biggest uh, setbacks that the diet industry does not want to tell you um, or does not want to reveal to you that there aren't any diet shortcuts or quick fixes throughout a sustainable fat loss journey. If someone approaches you and tries to tell you that there are quick fixes or short, shortcuts or this special supplement that will help you lose fat fast and you know, keep it off for life, more than likely there is a, a financial incentive behind that because the only way to lose fat is to be in a calorie deficit. And one of the things that we talk a lot about here in the Tana Tuna community is being in a protein-focused calorie deficit. And I know that many of you right now may not understand what that is, and that's okay. Uh, you know, we're going to meet you where you're at, give episodes, more information on exactly what a calorie deficit is. But a protein-focused calorie deficit is one that emphasizes protein to make sure that we're targeting body fat and not just weight throughout your fat loss diet. And so when it comes to losing body fat, know that it's important to understand it's, it does take time. It's important to be patient. And another big one is it's not always fair to compare your journey maybe to someone else's because we all start in different places when it comes to losing body fat. We know that people who may be at a higher weight may lose weight at a faster rate than someone who's maybe not at at a higher rate. Some of the women that we talked about, you know, they, they're on their own journey. So uh, one thing I encourage you to do if you're struggling right now is to really focus on setting just small weekly goals, knowing that you're not, you're not going to get there in a week or two weeks. And, and that's okay. It's not about, it's not all about the outcome. It's about the journey. Because the habits you put in place each and every day, and we'll be sure to talk about the most important fat loss habits one actually is being in a protein-focused calorie deficit, but we'll talk about those and, and how that can help you kind of build up that lifestyle in a sustainable way to lose fat in a healthy, sustainable, and lasting way. So point number one, when the diet industry comes at you and says, hey, listen, I had this secret pill, uh, this, this medication that will blunt your appetite um, or you know, this fancy diet, know that it, it's not going to be working for life. You know, we only know through science, through education, the only thing that can help you lose fat and keep it off is working on sustainable habits that keeps us in a enjoyable protein focused calorie deficit. So um, again, I love to hear the type of diet you're following, following below. So go ahead and comment that. John says he is a big fan of flexible dieting. Hey, John, me too, man. Thank you so much for commenting. <clears throat> and so great to see you, Beate. Thank you for commenting as well. Hope you're doing awesome. Uh, so great to see you guys. Now, the next thing besides the fact that once we understand there's no shortcuts to fat loss, there's no quick fix, there's no way around the hard stuff or on the work, it's important to realize that what we've been told in the past like this is not always the truth. You know, growing up, I've always heard that, you know, carbs are bad. And like you guys look at me and probably think, oh, well, Garrett, you know, he's a dietitian. He, he's been eating perfectly all his life. When I was 16 years old, I went through a period of my life where I've tried tens of different diets, low fat, uh, low carb. I did a, a bunch of cardio and I was facing a really challenging time in my life when I was 16 years old. Um, I'm, I'm over 30, over 30 now. And so when you guys like look at me, it's, it's just not about what I've learned, but what I experienced. And I think that's just what's most important is that, you know, I've went to the same things that you guys did. Um, probably at a much younger age when I was, you know, um, you know, super, you know, in my teens. Um, so I want to teach you what I've learned, not only through my experiences, but also from uh, science and education too. And the, one of the things that I really want to bring up attention to is that carbs are not the enemy. A lot of times women, men, everyone will drop carbs right away to, to lose weight. And that's true, right? You're going to see weight loss pretty quickly from a low carb diet. 
And, but weight loss is not what we're going for. We're strictly aiming for fat loss. So when we go into a low carb diet, when we restrict carbohydrates, we're going to empty our muscles of what's known as glycogen, which is a storage form of carbohydrates. And when we lower our carbs, that glycogen lowers, and so does the water content in our bodies. And now when we release water, we also release weight. We lower our weight. So instantaneously, you're going you're gonna to see a weight shift downward into um, a positive level that you are changing your weight. But again, that's not fat loss. That's just weight loss. And I have five reasons why carbs are actually very important throughout a fat loss diet. I'm really excited to share these with you too. Hey, if you're a fan of carbs, I'd love to hear from you. What is your favorite carb food? I know that mine uh, minor pancakes, and I love to hear what your favorite carb source is, and I love to hear too. Like, is that something you that you keep during your diet? That is something we teach our clients throughout our programs. Is that you don't have to give up your favorite foods. What's most important is just being consistent in a calorie deficit that's customized to you. And so, here is a, a few very important reasons why it's important to keep carbs higher in a fat loss diet. Number one, carbs play a very important role in our metabolism. So as you know, carbs play a very important role in the metabolism as it relates to the thyroid. So the thyroid gland is the master regulator when it comes to controlling our metabolism of every cell. So when we drop our carbs super fast, that doesn't allow that thyroid gland, that master metabolism maker to perform at its best. So, you know, a few hormones change, they downregulate and they slow down the fat loss process. And what, another one of those is leptin. So leptin is one of the king fat loss hormones. And whenever we drop carbs um, and start to diminish our intake of carbohydrates through food, then leptin drops. And so two things happen. Well, a few things happen. One, um, we don't feel as full. We have a, a compromised immune system. And for women, uh, the risk of amenorrhea is, is very likely. So it's very important to keep carbs in at a healthy level to make sure our cycles run, um, in, again, in that healthy level each month and to make sure that our energy is high too. Carbs play a very important role in energy and motivation. And you're keeping this focus on what's most important. In fact, one of the biggest reasons why fat loss stalls throughout diets is people get tired. Uh, people get tired because they drop carbs. But one cool thing is when keeping carbs higher throughout your diet, if you're able to keep it higher than normal, you're going to have higher levels of what's known as non-exercise activity thermogenesis, which is basically activity that is not purposeful. So um, when it comes to carbs, when we keep them in, we're more than likely to fidget, to move around, to you know, take the stairs. All those steps add up and burns calories, and that's important for fat loss. Also, carbs improves diet adherence. Like, for example, let me ask you this. If I were to put you on a, a diet that restricted carbs, how adherent would you be to that diet? I know for me, I would not be adherent at all. I would want to quit. Uh, especially since I love pancakes so much. So I don't know about for you, but for me, I'm much more adherent to a diet when I like it and when it incorporates my favorite foods. And that's what's most important. Lastly, carbs are known to help promote and improve high quality sleep. So here's a really cool thing. When we consume carbs, carbs um, can can convert into serotonin in our, in our brains. Serotonin is a, is a neurotransmitter that, converts into what's known as melatonin. And melatonin is a hormone that's produced in our brain that helps to regulate sleep and wake cycles. So if we're having trouble at nighttime getting to sleep, having a carb-rich meal at night could help you sleep better. Um, things like honey and bananas are great sources and even pancakes, if you're a pancake fan. Guys, I'd love to know, are we, are we pancake or waffle fans? Because this has been a debate uh, in this group for the last, uh, well, this group is four months new. Um, I'd love to hear if you are a pancake or waffle fan. I know that our client Alexis is a pancake fan. So thank you, Alexis, for joining Team Pancakes. That is always excited. Laura, great to see you. I uh, hope you're doing well. I did forget to mention you too. Hey, big shout out to Laura. Laura has lost over eight pounds. She's flattened her tummy, as she said, uh, throughout her first round with Coach Layla. So she's been crushing it. Michelle says, I love carbs. You have me addicted to pancakes every single day. 
Um, I'm not sure that's, that's a good thing, but work with Coach Ashley Michelle. I know you're making some great progress regardless. So I'm really happy to hear that you have a great relationship with, with carbs and that you feel comfortable eating those throughout your diet. So that's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that with me, Michelle. So again, one of the things that, that the diet industry wants to sell you on are things that aren't true, like carbs are the enemy. Carbs are not the enemy. In fact, when you look at the different macronutrients, there's three different macronutrients. There's carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Okay. And just like how any one food will not cause you to gain body fat, and there's not any foods that will prevent you from losing body fat, any of these macronutrients aren't good aren't bad for you. So carbs aren't evil. Protein's not evil. Fat's not evil, right? So think about diet as in terms of nutrient dense and non-nutrient dense. As Coach Ashley posted recently on her Instagram, uh, guys, if you're not following her on Instagram, go give her a, a follow. She has some amazing content. She had mentioned that and correctly that there's no good foods, there's no bad foods. There's nutrient dense foods and there's non-nutrient dense foods like processed foods. So it's important to make sure that in your diet, you're incorporating both. It's kind of like running an ultra marathon. So if you're going to run an ultra marathon, would you, do you think that you would perform better if you went straight at and ran a hundred miles without stopping? Like for example, your fat loss journey, let's say you want to lose 30 pounds. Do you think that you would achieve awesome sustainable results if you went at it in one go without stopping, just like the ultra marathon, right? You'd just go, no breaks, nothing, just keep going. Or do you feel like you'd make better sustainable progress and you'd feel better at the end if you took breaks throughout your ultra marathon? So breaks meaning, you know, every maybe 25 miles, you take a break, maybe get some water, get some food, and then maybe get some rest, then go again for another 25 miles. That's the same concept we take throughout our dieting periods. In fact, what we do, one thing that I encourage you to do is look at your dieting periods as in phases and time block those phases. And in other words, let's say you'll lose 30 pounds. What we found most effective for women and men when it comes to losing body fat is time blocking those phases. So let's say you take 12 weeks and you focus on that one goal only, 12 weeks, you focus on losing body fat at a rate that's roughly around 1% of your body weight each week. That's a healthy, that's a sustainable rate of weight loss. So if you weigh 150 pounds and you lose 1% each week, that'd be 18 pounds in 12 weeks. That's great progress. We know that when you start with your calories and the changes you have to make to lower them to lose that roughly 20 pounds, you have to be eating fewer calories. You're going to be tired, fatigued, lethargic. You're going to be maybe craving, having some mad cravings and maybe binge. And we know that if you have another 10, 12 pounds to lose, that'd be super tough. So here's what we recommend. And here's what I encourage you to do right now or in your next fat loss phase is take a break. Take a break to recharge your fat loss batteries. We call these breaks metabolic reset phases. And these metabolic reset phases do exactly what they sound like. They reset your metabolism. They're a purposeful plan and strategic break in your diet that allows you to increase your calories slowly over time while keeping you at the weight you ended your last fat loss diet with. So let's say you got down to 130 pounds after losing 20 pounds from 150. Um, you would essentially, your goal would be stay at 120, but you would spend eight to 10 weeks increasing your calories. And I'll give more information on this too, especially if you're interested in learning more about how to sustain. And this is the key. The metabolic reset phase is one of the most overlooked and underrated phases of dieting that is the missing link between keeping the weight off and gaining weight back. So we understand that Americans don't have a weight loss problem. Anyone can lose weight. The thing that we need to focus on is keeping that weight off. And that's exactly where these metabolic reset phases come into play. So for example, let's say you end your weight in your body weight, uh, fat loss phase at 120 pounds, you go back up maybe 500 calories, 800 calories. When you're at, when you're, when you're eating 800 calories more and you're at your same weight, you have more potential to lose weight easier because when you start here, you can make 
drops in your calories and your weight will drop from 120 and go lower. So it's, it just makes it easier to have more motivation, more energy, less fatigue. You have better work performances in the gym. You're staying more motivated. And so that is exactly why we recommend taking breaks, whether it's a simple diet break. And that just means going to maintenance. And if you guys would like some more information on how to go to maintenance, let me know. I'll share a real life example with you guys uh, in our Facebook group. We want to just give you guys the best information um, always to help you guys make amazing progress. In fact, I received a, a, a private message today from, uh, from a lady who had just joined our group. I was really proud when I, uh, I was really excited when she messaged me and I have a messenger back, but she said, Hey, I'm just really thankful for being in your group. You know, I've already lost, I, th- I think she said like 10 pounds for just reading our guide, the free guide we put out. And um, she just is finding like the information useful. And so there's a lot of women in this group who are just making amazing progress without, you know, work with any of our coaches. And that's exactly what we want. We want you to feel empowered to make changes. We want you to use this community as a way to get support and encouragement for others. And guys, I just want to say, I really appreciate you attending today's live podcast. Uh, Be sure to stay tuned next Tuesday at 730. As we go live again, I'll be having coach Casey, our women's fat loss expert as, uh, as our special guest. Um, and, and throughout these times too, you'll get to know each of our coaches. As you probably know, we have five coaches here at Tan Nutrition. We have Coach Casey, Coach Ashley, Coach Boston, Coach Layla, and also Coach Barnes. Uh, amazing coaches get amazing results. And so I want to introduce them to you individually. You'll probably see them a lot in a group too. Again, if you're not part of a group, if you're listening elsewhere, please join us. Um, the site to join our group is facebook.com slash groups slash tandem turn up. That's it for today, guys. Thank you for your time. God bless you. And I will see you next Tuesday.